Hi, welcome uh, to the new section. Uh, in this section, uh, I'm going uh, to show you how to install uh, Magento uh, 2 by using a professional uh, theme uh, with the name of uh, Rapidin package. Uh, first um, thing, uh, we have to uh, create uh, the database to install uh, the Magento 2. And uh, to do that, uh, let's go to the MySQL database uh, through the server. Click here to MySQL database on my server. Then I have to create a new database uh, with the name of the database. Uh, let's go to Magento with the name of Magento 2 as example. Here we go. Let's click here at the button to create a database as a shown here. Uh, so that now I'm going to uh, grab all of this uh, name for the database. Added uh, the database. Uh, you have to select uh, the full name which uh, found uh, between uh, the double brackets. Uh, copy or control C by keyboard or command uh, if you have a Macintosh. Uh, Let's grab uh, this name and um, I will paste it uh, on a separated file and database name as example database name here we go sorry 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 for that database name paste uh, and uh, user password okay, here we go uh, let's come back again to the server go back after creating uh, the database name uh, i have to create a user uh, to add all of uh, privileges uh, for this database to create uh, to insert uh, to create table to view table to do all of operations uh, through this this database let's scroll down uh, to show up uh, the information oh my god i had a lot of uh, database on my server China show, China show, here we go, China show, okay. Let's scroll down, as I mentioned before, scroll down there, China show Magento, okay. Let's, um, okay, China show, okay. Let's scroll down, here's MySQL, as I've shown here, MySQL users, add a new user, uh, China show, um, user um, mag2, as example, user Magento2. And here is the password. After adding the user, I have to click. Uh, I should click to the password to add a new password. Um, with the password, I encourage you to add the password through the password uh, generator, not type uh, directly. Click here at the password generator to provide or at least to get uh, a strong uh, password. Then click here uh, and grab um, this password by Control C um, if you have a BC or a Command C. If you had a, a Macintosh, then click here at this button to I have copied this password in a save place. After that, uh, click the button, use the password. And uh, here you see the very strong 100 by 100 uh, password. Uh, before continue, I have to come back again to my uh, server, uh, sorry, to my uh, notepad or uh, any text editor to save the password. So this is the password. Let's scroll down. My God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this mistake. Oh my gosh. Okay. We don't need scroll down or, or minimize. Now I'm going. I have to uh, click here at the button of create user. Click here to create user. Here we go. Okay. We don't need to um, save this information. Here we see uh, you have uh, successfully created uh, a MySQL username. China show China's China sorry China show underscore user mag2 so now we should uh, grab all of this uh, text uh, which uh, found the uh, between uh, double brackets uh, or double uh, parentheses let's uh, co copy or grab this uh, text and uh, let's come back again uh, to the notepad or any text editor 
to uh, save this information let's scroll down again and uh, come back to the server click here to uh, go back after creating the user with the password I should add this user to the database why because of we have to grant all of privileges for this database by the user to do that let's uh, let's scroll down scroll down scroll down there we go more and more and here we see that users and database let's uh, choose uh, the user the last uh, the last user uh, which we need uh, or which I need exactly a China show underscore user mag2 and uh, I have to uh, add this uh, user to the last database uh, with the name of uh, China show magento2 here we go now I should uh, click at the add to add this user to this database to grant all of privileges through this database to this user now uh, let's uh, click at uh, this button with the name of add here we go here we see many user uh, privileges uh, user china show user mag2 and uh, the database of china show uh, magento2 i should click here to uh, grant all privileges of this database to the user let's scroll down to show up all of uh, privileges uh, like alter uh, alter uh, routine cre create create routine create uh, temporary table create view uh, drop execute uh, delete event uh, index uh, insert uh, uh, reference uh, lock tables uh, uh, select uh, show view update and the uh, triggers uh, all of these uh, privileges uh, will be granted uh, to this user now uh, let's uh, click here at the make changes through this database here we go here we see uh, you have given the requested privilege on the database on the database with the name of china show magento 2 to the user of a uh, china show user user mag 2 so that's all let's uh, come back again to uh, go back uh, to the server now uh, we finished uh, from creating uh, this uh, database let's go back again to the server to continue after creating uh, the, 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 the database to install magento 2 uh, as i mentioned before uh, i will provide you how to install magento by using a professional uh, theme uh, with the name of uh, rapidin package uh, let's uh, uh, to do that to do that um, um, you should uh, install uh, this theme or uh, this uh, you know, this uh, platform of magento by using uh, two ways uh, the, w the first one is installing uh, quick start and the other way is uh, to install only uh, templates so um, in this uh, on the on the next lecture uh, i'm going to show you how to install uh, magento 2 by using install a quick start so be patient uh, to learn more see you goodbye